Hey everybody, thanks for watching. So, we're sitting here at KJNX, that's Johnston Regional in Smithfield, North Carolina. We're flying with live weather and live traffic, and we're sitting outside the aircraft right now looking at the grass and the trees. And the reason being is it's been a long time since I've thought about this program, but somebody brought it to my memory. Uh, to my mind not that long ago and that's the MSF map MSFS map enhancement yeah you can choose things like the Bing's latest maps so right now we're looking at the scenery with the default and my plan is I'm gonna take off I'm gonna do a right hand pattern climb to pattern altitude which at this airport is 1199 being that the elevation of the aircraft, let me uh, uh, hold up, I'm sorry, <laughs> well, let's see, let's get back into the aircraft, there we go, let me reset my altitude, because the elevation here is 164 feet, although it looks like a little higher, but maybe the pressure altitude. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to take off, we're going to do a right hand pattern, we're going to look at the grass and the scenery around this airport with the default and then with the Bing enhancement. So let's go ahead and take off here. Let's get back on the center line there, boy. Alright, we are up at 55. Rotate. Okay. Yeah, 10 degrees. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, definitely a bit of a crosswind here. Alright. zoom out a little bit here and and I'm not going to use my Toby eye tracker just to make it a little bit easier <laughs> to see but you can see right off the top of the airport when we depart what it looks like green fields green fields Fields, green fields. Alright, so we're almost at altitude, so I'm going to go ahead and stop my turn to the right. Yaza, yaza, yaza. I don't have my flaps up, so what's going on? Must be the wind here. Oh, okay, oh, oh, I got a little bit over height, darn it. Didn't want to do that. But that's all right. All right, so we can see there we got some green, a little bit of yellowish, green. All right, and let's go ahead and turn again because we're really not in the pattern, but not really my purpose here. It's more or less just to look at the grass and the way the ground looks with the default. Alright, so we're on a downwind now. A little high for it. And a little fast, so let me bring us down here. Oh yeah, oopsie daisy, I did not want to climb that much. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> but, again, I'm not trying to fly as much as I'm trying to look. So, I do want to get a little bit closer. See what the airport looks like here. Yeah, windy day here today. Very unstable air in this region. Woke up this morning with nothing but fog all over. Could barely even see my backyard and backyard. Sorry about the Boston accent slipping through. <laughs> and now it's 80 degrees here. So very unstable here, I'd say. All right, so, but we can see what we're looking at. 
Well, the runway now and the airport grass and the fields around, it gives us an idea. So let's go ahead and stop here. I'm going to go to main menu because I'm actually going to get out of the sim. You can get the map enhancement tool from GitHub. Derek A is the developer. It was updated just two weeks ago. We're up to version 8.0.19. I remember when this first came out. It's really crazy that it's still going this strong. It, I love it. And uh, so you download it. You run the executable. So once you download and run the executable, you'll have this Microsoft Flight Sim Map Enhancement. And now it's on Bing latest version because that's what I was flying with. But you have other choices. Don't know why you would go with them. Bing latest version and for settings oops, where are they? Yeah, yeah these most people and I myself included recommend just leaving them off leaving them alone you need to pick your version the enable high LOD you want that turned on the high LOD below altitude default is 10,000 I brought it down to 3,000 for myself turned on the cache you hit default, it fills in the path. Default is 10 gig, they recommend 30. That's what I put mine on and no other settings here changed. And you launch this prior to launching the flight simulator. So once this launches, you'll see this load and the it runs in the background. Again, I noticed no frame rate drop whatsoever. And once it starts up, you'll see that loaded go from four up to tens of thousands of images very quickly. So that is the app, and I highly recommend it. So let's take a look and see now what some of the differences look like around KJNX. Hey, everybody, here we are now sitting outside the aircraft again but now we have the Bing latest version maps running using the MSFS map enhancement tool the Microsoft Flight Sim map enhancement tool and like I said when the Flight Sim first came out this tool was a tremendous boon to the aviation community for Flight Sim because it replaced the built-in maps which as we all know are not really up to date and are really not that good looking. Now we're outside and I can already see different modeling and cracking in the ground which is typical here because we have a very hard dirt in this area mostly clay and it dries and it cracks and definitely seeing tractor lines and mower lines and so let's go ahead and get inside the aircraft and we'll do the same thing. Okay, so let me zoom out a bit, just because it makes it a little bit easier to see for you guys. And again, I'm just going to depart the same way, climb to pattern altitude, roughly, and come back and look at the airport. So, and like I said, I mean, my frames right now are 50, whoops, 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 whoops sorry, <laughs> 52. I get back on the center line, boy, boy. Uh, 52 frames per second. Oops, it off a little early there, but. And uh, I'm not seeing any performance drop at all. My CPU is, seems to be running a little bit higher now, but that could be because it's actually still loading. And maybe once it finishes loading, it'll go back down to below 20%. But, I mean, I'm definitely seeing a difference. It's not all just green fields and not just plain squares. I'm actually seeing some, like I said, lines from tractors, mowing lines. You can see them in that field there really well. And it's not all green, which is nice. So let's go ahead and, because we're almost at altitude here, let's pull this back. And let's go ahead and turn stop climbing here and we'll go back over to the area of the runway so oopsie daisy what the heck am I doing there 
trying to get the scenery for you and I'm not really doing my job flying. So let's try to keep up in the air here. But yeah, see the difference? Certainly down there with those fields and the lines in them. So much improved quality on the graphics and really no loss experience with the frame rate. So still a well worth addition to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Get us closer to the runway like I did before. And let's see. Pay attention here. I'm supposed to. Hmm. Yeah, fields look very different. Everything looks very different. So when you do launch this before, whoops, before launching Flight Simulator, and like right now I have 14,000 images loaded so far for this. And I'll show you some of the settings. Okay, here we go. So here's the runway. We'll get a good look at it here. See some of the lines and so forth. Whoops, sorry about that. Appears to be much more <laughs> true to life now. Without a doubt. down there. Yes, look at that. Look at the fields and the lines, the colors. Got to be careful not to stall here. <laughs> it shouldn't. I mean, I'm well above stall speed, but as we all know, that doesn't mean anything. Stupidity can cause an airplane to stall no matter what the speed is. So get inattention. All right, well, I'm going to have to say I give this uh, app a continued thumbs up. It's a very, very good utility to have. It really makes a difference in the scenery here. Yeah. All right, hey, thanks for watching.